you for joining me today while we sew up a Moon Dance Notepad Holder by Sincerely Jen Patterns. We're going to mix it up a little bit and we're going to make ours hold a candle. Let's get started. Most of the pieces that are required will be the exact same. You still need your exterior. You still need your two main lining. You still need your two stabilizers and your card pocket. You need your center liner, and I'm also going to add a center binding. What you need to alter the moon dance to hold your tablet or Kindle device is first, you have to measure your device, the width and the height. You take those measurements and you're gonna cut a piece of Decoville Heavy to those exact measurements. Then you're gonna take, and you're going to need a front and a back. What you're gonna do for that is you're gonna take this measurement and you're going to add a half inch to the height and a half inch to the width. And you'll need two at that size. You're also going to need a 10 inch strip of fold over elastic, and you're gonna need four four inch strips of fold over elastic. You're gonna need a card pocket piece. We're gonna use this as the tab, and then you're gonna need the tab stabilizer. I will give you the dimensions for the tab stabilizer in the description box, and also you can find it right here. If you want to add a custom label, now is the time to do so. For this portion, we need our main exterior and our center lining. I'm going to take and find the center points, which I've already found. And we're going to put double-sided tape, or you can use glue, down the center to hold it in place. it into place and now on to the next step. For this step we need our two main linings and our two main stabilizers. We're going to take one of the main stabilizers and we're going to measure two and a quarter inches in and we're going to cut it. This is gonna allow the back to bend, yet it's gonna keep it firm enough that it will stand upright. We're stepping a little bit away from the way that she writes the pattern in order to adapt this tablet. What we're gonna do with this piece is we're going to take and we're going to line it up A little bit away from the edge and we're going to glue it down. I prefer not to use an iron during these steps. It's okay that I didn't get all the way to the edges because it will hold and this will be sewn together and it will be held in the middle. Then we're gonna leave a space, a slight space, and we're gonna try to stay away from the edge. And we're gonna glue this one down. Put that, something heavy on top, and let it dry. We're gonna take the other stabilizer piece, we're gonna glue it down also to the lining. It's a little bit different than she wrote the pattern. This just helps us to get all the parts we need 
secure. And we're also gonna put this under something heavy and let it dry. On the wrong side of the exterior, we're gonna measure three quarters of an inch from the left hand side on each corner. I'm gonna put a piece of double-sided tape a little up to keep it out of your seam allowance right by that line on each side. You're gonna take the adhesive backing off and you're gonna put the right side right against that line. Wrap it around the front and again the right side right against that line. We're gonna take our lining piece that has the solid back and we're going to take and punch holes and do some slots, kind of similar to card slots, but not exactly. We're going to measure one and three quarters inch up centered. I've already measured. We're gonna put holes. One inch on either side of the center. Then we're gonna measure up one inch from that. And we're going to make two more holes. One inch from center. We have our holes. Now we're going to take and use our ruler and our straight edge and our we're going to go between them very carefully. Not past them, just between them. You'll find that if you need to you can just take your scissors, your little snips, and snip straight into the little holes that you just punched. Now, there we go. Now we have our slits. Take your lining piece that has the slots cut into it and measure and mark centered three quarters inch up from the bottom. Now take your card pocket piece and put one eighth inch double sided tape around the side and bottom edges. We're going to take the backing off. Sometimes that's the hardest part. We're going to line it up right on that line we drew. Now we're going to take this to the machine and we're gonna sew with a 1 8 inch seam allowance around the outside perimeter. You wanna be sure to leave the top open for your card. Sew the pocket down first. We're gonna start with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Always okay to use your hand to crank it.
Now we're going to do just like we do on card slots. And right here beside the hole, beside the slot, you can hardly see it. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to do it on the top and the bottom. And this will help hold our stabilizer in place. So. And we're going to do the second hole the same way. hardly see the holes. Take the card pocket that we're using as a tab, turn it over, find the center point. There we go. Now we're going to take and we're going to put glue and our stabilizer here just to hold it in. We're going to put it right here up to the center. And we're going to fold this over and we're going to hold it together with some clips. So with an eighth inch seam allowance around the sides and the fold, make sure you put your seam, your stitch length to your top stitch length. Now we're going to work on the tablet mount pieces. So we're going to take the front tablet mount piece. We're going to turn it wrong side up. Take a ruler and measure one inch in on the corner. And you want to mark on each side of the corner. And you want to do that all the way around. Once you have those pieces marked, you're going to take your double-sided tape and you're going to put a little bit right here. At each mark all the way around. And you'll take your, and do one corner at a time. With the elastic wrong sides together with the wrong side of the fabric, you're gonna wrap it around. Then you're gonna 
right in there. And that's how it's gonna be on all four corners. To help hold them in place even more, we're gonna take our bigger double-sided tape. We're gonna go along the outer edge here, but we're gonna stay away from the seam allowance. Instead of glue this time, I'm going to go ahead and just use the double-sided tape to hold my stabilizer in place. Take the stabilizer and center it. and stick it down. We don't need as much here, but we can put a few strips and hold them together. That way it doesn't move while we're sewing. Line it up evenly all the way around. You're gonna need your prepared tablet holder and your prepared tab. On the left-hand side, you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna measure about a half inch in. Doesn't have to be exact, but close. And you're gonna center and you're gonna mark two inches. You're gonna take your tab, you're going to put double-sided tape, whichever side you decide is going to be your right side or wrong side. I'm going to use it on both. You're going to center this in here about halfway in. I mean, a half inch in. And then you're going to close this over it. Now you're going to take, make sure it's straight. You're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure two and three quarters inch in from the right hand side. You're gonna take like a silver marking pen or something that will come off, and you're gonna mark a line all the way down the middle. Then we're gonna go to the machine and we're gonna sew all the way around the left edge to hold the snap in, and we're gonna come right down that center line that we just drew. Whenever you get to the elastics, make sure you pull them like this so that they're firmly against the edges each time you get to an elastic. Now let's take it to the machine. Okay. I'm gonna start on this corner. I wanna make sure I have it on my top stitch length. It's just prettier. And I'm pulling this to make sure, I'm not pulling it tight and stretching it, I'm just pulling it to make sure that it's straight with the edge of the final. We're going to the line. And we turn it and we just follow the line all the way down the center.
meat knit an elastigan. We're gonna pull it in, not stretching, just making sure it's flat. Have another elastic, not stretching, just making sure it's flat. Getting back to another elastic. And go all the way to your same hole. And back stitch. We're going to take our exterior and our prepared left interior. We're going to tape it down or stick it down. You do not want to stick it within this center portion right here. But you can stick behind it. Not in front of it, but behind it. Because when it is here, your tab is going to go in this way. So it's going to need this portion able to be accessed. So let's stick it down. Line it up even with the edge. Now we're going to pull this elastic to this side. And then we're going to sew all the way around the perimeter of this lining piece. I'm going to start it right here on this end because this is going to be hidden. And remember to put it on your top stitch length. When you get to the elastic, make sure it's snug against the edge. Don't stretch it, just make sure it's snug against the edge. Same for this side of the elastic. Snug against the edge, but don't stretch it. We're going to take our remaining lining piece that has the slit in the stabilizer and we're going to make sure that the smaller of the two portions is over to the right. And we're going to take our ruler and we're going to measure two and three quarters of an inch from that right hand edge. And we're going to draw a line using a chalk pencil because we're going to be sewing on that line. Now we're going to take our exterior, and again, the smaller side needs to go towards the right. And we're going to put some DST on the back and stick it down on both sides.
Now the smaller side needs to go towards the outside edge and center it and stick it down. We're going to sew around the inside box on this line. We are not sewing from the line to the outer edge, only on the inside box. I'm going to start and stop right here on the inside edge because that part on the front is going to be hidden behind the binding piece that I made. Eighth inch seam allowance. Remember to stop at the line you drew. And so straight down that line. With your exterior panel right side up, you're going to take and make your measurements to find the halfway point. And I know how wide my piece is, so I'm just going to mark. take our binding piece that we made. We're going to put one strip of DST down the center. I'll line it up with our marks at the top and the bottom. stick it down. Then we're going to take it to the machine and we're going to sew it around this entire perimeter. Okay, I'm going to start at the back bottom corner. Now that we've sewn the binding on, I'm going to flip it over and we have not sewn this whole little portion over here. We're going to need this piece and this piece and then we are almost done. So we're going to take our double sided tape and you don't have to use double sided tape. I just find that it's easier to hold in place. You could use clips. You could use glue. You don't have to use either. If you can hold it in place, that's totally up to you. I prefer to use this double-sided tape. We're going to take the side that we have not sewn. We're going to line it up centered along this edge. and stick it down. Then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to sew an eighth inch away from this line on the right hand side and all the way around this. All right, let's start right here. 
I'm actually going to start right in this other hole. Remember, every time you get to the elastics, make sure that they are firm against the edge, straight firm against the edge. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to backstitch all the way off of this edge because it's not even. Now I'm at another elastic. I want to make sure that I hold it taut. Always hold your elastic flat against the edge. Again, I want to make sure I go all the way to the other edge here. I'm going to go all the way off and then I'm going to back stitch. Back up. And go up one more. I'm going to go all the way to this line, but I'm going to come back. turn it and I'm gonna go one more line this way eighth inch from the other line that we did earlier reinforcing this fold area just completed our moon dance. You've got your elastic to hold it closed. Nice and snug. Let's put the Kindle in. Fits really well. Okay, there we go. Not gonna fall out. Then the tab will insert into either slot, giving you two different viewing angles. Then you have your card pocket. Thanks again for joining me. If you liked this tutorial, please consider subscribing.